Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. So I'm up kind of early for a Saturday. It's like 7.15, and as you can tell, I've been up for a minute. Um, I'm showered, got myself dressed, and I'm going to head over to the gym to get in a workout. They have a um, upper body, lower body class that seems like it will be right up my alley. I think it's a lot like the type of exercises that my um, personal trainer puts me through, like interval training or something like that. Um, the thing I like about this gym is, I mean, the setup and everything is so professional and it reminds me or it makes me think of one of those places where like pro athletes would go to work out and who knows, maybe there are some, um, but I'm just like, I'm really excited. I'm kind of nervous though because I don't, I'm hoping I'll be able to keep up with the class. It's at the, I think they said intermediate level. So I might be being a little ambitious, but we'll see how it goes. But I wanna go ahead and get on the road here. Um, the class starts at 8.30, so I wanna make sure that um, I have enough time to like put my stuff in the locker and figure out where they're having the class. So anyway, I got my coffee in hand. I haven't had a sip yet, but it's coming. So I'll either check in with y'all when I'm there or after when I'm on my way back. Friends, take a look at this temperature. I can't believe it. It's like 42 degrees and it's cold. I think they're gonna get single digits in Alaska this weekend or next week though. So I'm not complaining too much. Yeah, so where I'm living now, it does get cold. But from what I understand, I think November and December are like the worst of it. Um, so I'm not complaining. Well, I kind of am. But I don't know if I would enjoy living somewhere that is hot all year round. I just don't know. It might be a shock to the system. All right, let's get into this class. I just finished my workout and I kind of got hoodwinked into doing more than what I thought I was going to be doing um, so I went there to do like this um, strength training session that they had and I'm telling y'all I'm, I'm almost positive like professional athletes go there as I suspected because some of those people their physiques were unreal it was insane during that strength training class um, two older women one looked like she was probably in her mid to late 50s and then the other one had to have been like in her early 60s um they were like okay sign up for the spin class that's right after this and i'm looking at them like wait what <laughs> why would i do that and they were like yeah it's the perfect complement to this type of class and i was just like i don't even know if i'm gonna make it and they were like don't worry we'll help you blah 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 and so i was like okay so i signed up for the spin class you guys okay so spin is very popular and i get it because you get a hell of a workout but the seats are uncomfortable as i'll get out they are hard and then um my legs were like jello after that strength training class because it was upper and lower, full body. And so, I mean, I, I think I'll do it again, <clears throat> but I feel like I bit off more than I could chew today. So I'm gonna pay for it tomorrow. I'm almost positive, but it was good. I mean, this is a great way to start the day. Um, I went over to a cafe and grabbed some food. It was like a Southwestern chicken bowl or, or something like that, which tasted amazing actually um, and then I got some electrolyte water and now I am going to head over and get a pedicure which is much needed y'all know okay so let me just mention this <clears throat> and I should go ahead and mention it now so part of my financial goals for the month of November is I said I was going to do a 21 day no spend challenge I'm not going to do that because Black Friday is going to be coming up um, you know all kinds of stuff and that's kind of ambitious so I'm gonna set another 
type of financial challenge. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, but um, I'll probably do that in January. That's much better timing. Um, not that it'll be easy, but I think that'll be a really great way to kick off the year, have a no spend January. Um, so anyway, I'm over here. I wanted to catch up with y'all real quick. I am going to um, go get my pedicure. I'm going to head over in about, <clears throat> I'm going to head over in like 15 minutes to go and get my pedicure. Um, right now, I'm just in the parking lot of the, the cafe where I grab some food. So anyway, y'all, it's chilly. It's It's 56 degrees now. But there's a breeze so you know that's making it feel a little bit colder um but i hope your saturday is going great i feel good despite how i look <laughs> despite how i look like i got my ass kicked because i did so anyway all right i will catch up with y'all later doing so today is Sunday and I am about to head out because I'm gonna take myself to brunch today um, last night I didn't do anything I didn't get into anything because I was just exhausted from that day well my early part of the day with working out I did two workout sessions um, and it took everything out of me I had every intention of going sitting at a bar having appetizers in a cocktail but I just couldn't do it you know my body isn't as sore as I thought it was going to be so I'm happy for that and I was gonna work out this morning but I was like I better not tempt fate so I'm letting myself rest um, but I am gonna go grab some brunch and then after that my plan is to go and get a television um, I wanted to get like a 55 inch but I'm thinking because I'll have to move it myself I'll probably get like a 48 again or something like that. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna do some grocery shopping. So I plan to be out and about doing a little bit of running around. Um, so it'll be good to get out you know, <laughs> of these four walls for a bit. And then um, what I'm doing is thinking about, so you know, along the lines of a social interaction type thing, I'm thinking about hosting a brunch so I'll probably put the word out, um, see if anybody's interested, and then host a brunch maybe next Sunday. I know the holidays are going to start coming up, and so, you know, people might be less inclined to want to participate in stuff like that. But all you can do is try, right? So I'll put the word out and see how that goes. Um, so, yeah, I am very excited about how my makeup turned out today. I think it looks nice and subtle and natural. But I still feel like it, hold on, let me see. I feel like it's a little shadowy, hold on. Okay, so hopefully you can see it better. Um, yeah, so I'm, like I said, I'm trying all kinds of different techniques. The only thing I didn't do that I kind of wanted to do, but I'm just too lazy, is to try and apply the false lashes. But I think I did a pretty good job with the mascara application and stuff. So I'm really liking this look today. Um, my bangs, y'all know I've been fighting with them, so I just decided to part them on the side. But I can't decide if I like them more covering all of my forehead or if I prefer to have them kind of like, kind of curtain style, I guess is what they call it. So I don't know. We'll see as the day goes on. They kind of do what they want to do anyway. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling decent because I had like a can of, Topo Chico, I think is how you pronounce it, last night. And I'm feeling a little headachey, but not all the way. Um, but not enough to stop me from getting out and about. So, all right, y'all. I am going to head out, and I will check in with you all as I go throughout my day.
Hey friends. So my laptop is back up on that bullshit. I cannot use my company laptop anymore. So I gotta go back to using good old VDI. <sighs> Y'all, I'm gonna need this reign of terror to end. Oh my gosh. Just when I thought things were looking up. Anyway, so, and on top of that, I can't find the Citrix icon on my desktop anymore. So I gotta try to find that, which is gonna be cool. Super fun. Um, but happy Monday. Happy Monday. I hope your Monday is off to a great start. Had a nice and relaxing weekend. Um, what's going on today? I was supposed to work out with my personal trainer virtually. He's in Alaska, but that didn't work. Um, I had a call. He had something. He was running late. So I'm going to have to either try and get a workout in later on today. I'm definitely going to yoga tomorrow. So that's cool. So maybe I'll just lay low. I'm still sore from Saturday. Um, I'm not sure how the lighting is coming in. Let's see. Let me see if it's better right here. I don't know, it looks darker, doesn't it? Okay. All right, yeah. So anyway, I'm not gonna be here long. Um, already had my breakfast. As you all know, it was an omelet. Today I used zucchini, onion, and some salmon locks. So I put that in there, it was really good. And then of course my little three cheese blend, so good. And then this morning I got up super early and went to the Walmart. Um, to pick up a few things. I went to the marketplace because it was just like a get in, get out type of situation. And I love the fact that they have like the smaller Walmarts and then they have the super big Walmart. I can't believe y'all, I've become a Walmart fan. I go into Target and I'm just kind of like, I mean, you, you know, you pick and choose which one you're gonna go into and for what. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get my Citrix up and running and then I will check in with you all later. Bye. All right, hey, how's everybody doing? So it's um, still Monday and it has been a Monday today. It has. Um, I've been fighting with my laptop and I won't get into that because y'all heard me kind of complain about that this morning. But, um, you know, I, I'm kind of facing a situation right now. And um, I reached out to some of the ladies that live here at the apartment complex just to kind of fill them in on what's going on, um, not in any intimate detail, but just enough from an awareness standpoint. Um, and I'll probably share at some point on this channel, you know, what's been going on. It's something that's made me really uncomfortable and, um, you know, it's just, it's unfortunate, you know, that people can't just some people have a really hard time dealing with rejection and I get it, you know, rejection isn't fun, but I believe that if you believe in yourself and if you're confident, if somebody rejects you, you just know that person was not for you. Um, you know, so, but anyway, um, I didn't hop on here to tell y'all about that. Um, but what I did want to do is just kind of talk about some of the things that I've been thinking about. And I think it's because I'm an empty nester that I've really been like laser focused on this whole being middle-aged thing, right? And I know for me, what that means is I want to try and be in the best health and the best shape of my, as I possibly can. I was gonna say of my life, but not of my life, but as good a shape as I can be. And, you know, I kind of started thinking about, you know, how do, women feel when they start reaching middle age? You know, is it something that we are excited about? Is it something that we are, you know, do we kind of feel like our role or our existence in some way is kind of diminished? Um, especially if you've been a mom, you know, like a hands-on mom and stuff. And let's say, for instance, if you were married and then you become divorced or let's say if you're a woman who has never been married or never had children do you kind of feel like your value is lessened the older you get and that was just some of the things that i was thinking about you know and you know me i took to the internet because i wanted to just try and it's it's nice 
when you come across information that lets you know you're not alone in the process that you are going through. And so um, I think for me, I've really been trying to take a deep and honest um, look into my feelings about where I am in my life right now. I remember I reached a point to where I was like, you know what? Why even get dressed up? Why even try to like get in shape? You know, why I try to eat healthy? Because I'm looking at the generation coming up behind me and like my daughter and I'm like, she has her whole life ahead of her. And I'm looking at her, you know, she's in great shape. She's in really good shape. And her and I, a couple years ago, we were doing this exercise video and I was recording it and I was going to include it in one of my videos, but I didn't do it because I remember <laughs> I played back that video and I told her, I said, we look like before and after. <laughs> Yo, I mean, but honestly, that's how I felt when I played back that video. I was like, I'm not going to be showing myself next to my daughter who's like all fit and everything. And I'm just like. You know, and I think I'm probably harder on myself than I need to be because I'm not in terrible shape. I'm not in as good a shape as I want to be or as I'm going to be, but I'm not in terrible shape. So, yeah, you know, just really looking at how I feel about myself, how I feel about, you know, this life. Um, and then also honing in on what's meaningful to me, because I think the things that were meaningful to me when I was back in Alaska, when I was raising my daughter, and I don't think I'm done raising her by any means, right? Just because she's left the nest. Um, but as far as like the things that I'm willing to commit my time and my energy to versus those things that I'm not, the people that I'm willing to commit my time to, the people that I'm not, you know, all of that stuff. And just really trying to figure out where do I want to spend my time and energy? Because I'm one of those people, it's very easy for me to get caught up in the busyness of it all. So I'll start volunteering for stuff. I'll start, you know, allocating my time. And before I know it, I look around and I don't have anything left for myself. So I know that's not what I want to do here. So, um, yeah, so that and then thinking about, OK, so what is it that's working for me right now? What is it that I'm doing now that is working for me right now? And a perfect example of that is this morning when I went to Walmart. I had an idea that I was going to follow this specific meal plan for a high protein diet. And I got in there and I started looking at the list and it just felt so daunting. I was just like, oh, it's like, okay. For one, I wasn't organized. I wasn't as organized as I needed to be because it would have been like a scavenger hunt. But I started thinking about the foods that I eat that make me feel good. And then the things that I eat that make me feel tired you know, or not so great. And I just kind of shopped intuitively today. And that's not something that I normally do. I'm a list maker and I'm a list taker. So if I make a list, I'm gonna take it with me and I'm gonna get what's on the list. I might deviate from it a little bit, but not much. And everything that I have in my refrigerator is like, I eat it until it's gone. And it isn't anything that, everything that I've bought as of late has been whole foods. And I just noticed that I feel really good. So I'm going to continue in that way. Um, and then, let's see. Yeah, so, I mean, that'll, I'm sure there are other areas where I'll figure out what's working for me. Um, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, and that will spill over into other areas too, right? So what are the things that I invest my time in or the people I invest my time in that's giving me energy and then the ones that are not? Because if it's something that is taking energy away from me, I don't want it. I don't want it. If I don't feel, I mean, it's okay to exert energy like when you're working out, right? You exert energy. But then afterwards, you kind of feel invigorated. You feel good. You feel energized. Or at least I do. I mean, I come home and take a nap. But still, you know, I feel energized. And I know that it's something positive that I'm doing for myself. Um, and then also realigning the relationships that are in my life. I have had to cut off some really 
close relationships in my life because having that tether was not going to serve me for the life that I am looking to design now. It just would not work. And I won't get into too many details, but I mean like some of the relationships were like super close, super close. And it was difficult to do it, but I knew I had to do it. Um, yeah. And, and then pouring the energy into finding new friendships. And when I say pouring the energy, what I mean by that is being intentional. Because the thing is that I can go somewhere in public and just be by myself and have a good ass time. But I think it would be so much more fulfilling to try and connect with people. And, you know, I think that can happen organically if you're allowing yourself to be open and welcoming and positioning yourself around other people, like actually around them, not in the same space, but you're back in the cut. I mean, like, you know, just going somewhere, planting yourself amongst a group of people and, you know, say hi, whatever. I'm not great at small talk, but a lot of people are. And oftentimes you'll find that the extroverts will be a lead in for you. They'll create a lead in for you. And then the other people around them, before you know it, all of you are engaged in conversation. That has happened more times throughout my life than I can even count. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited about finding new friendships and establishing new relationships. And then the other thing is indulging in hobbies. Y'all, I don't know if I really have a hobby. Do I have a hobby? I mean, YouTube is my hobby. But other than that, I don't know if I have a hobby. I think what I'm gonna do though, and this is just so me, I'll probably like just look up a list of hobbies and try to pick something. Because when somebody's like, oh, well, what are you into? What do you like to do? And I'm like, oh, well, I like to read. And I don't really like to tell people that I do like create YouTube videos and stuff because it's just, they wanna know what your channel is and they wanna know all the deets and stuff, which I don't blame them. But I feel like when you're getting to know someone, you want it to happen naturally. You don't, you don't want them to have too much of a window into your life too soon, right? Because I feel like that kind of ruins it. Oh, and here's another thing y'all, and I wanna do a talk on this. This woman was saying that making friends when you're middle-aged is a lot like dating, you know, because we have this criteria that we have for like our partner or potential partner. Well, we kind of use those same types of criteria when we're selecting our friends. So I thought that was super interesting and I need to go back and read that article. I pinned it, but I need to go back and read it because I thought that was really interesting. So <clears throat> I'll be bringing that talk to you all here very soon. And then, um, I think the last point I want to talk about is, you know, doing more things for myself. And what I mean by that is like, if I have certain indulgences, I'll allow myself to indulge in those things. So like for me, going and get a manicure and pedicure is an indulgence. Um, when I go to this sports center, it looks like a... I would say it looks like a sports center because y'all, I mean, it has like a stadium feel and it's just super cool. Um, but when I go there and I work out, I feel like I'm indulging in that. I feel like that's a treat because the environment is just like, I'm like, I'm trying to get like these people up in here, you know? So I'll indulge in that. Um, what's another type of indulgence that I have right now? Shopping is an indulgence, but I'm trying to bring that in. Yeah, but I need to think about that. Um, I thought that after I got here and was settled that I would be itching to go on vacation, but I'm really not because I feel like maybe I'm still in the honeymoon phase here because I haven't been here that long. But I am enjoying this space. I'm enjoying this place that I'm in right now. And I just feel like there's so much that I have to explore. Um, yeah, the, the two ladies that, and you know, I won't give their names right now, but um, yeah, they're, they're really cool. They're both like, take no shit 
from nobody. And I love that. You know, they're just like, listen, we're not, we're not doing that today. <laughs> we're not having that today or, or ever, you know? And one of them was like, oh, who is this? All right, I have a call coming in. All right, friends, the problem has been resolved with my laptop. I can disconnect from the VDI, thank God, and go ahead and get some work done. Perfect. Oh, I still have a little bit of time for my lunch break. All right, let me go ahead and do that. All right, friends, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this moment of reflection. My lunch break is just about over. But yeah, those are some things that I've been thinking about, you know, just kind of reassessing middle age i guess is what i'm doing what i've been doing so i'm interested to know is anybody else going through the same thing has anybody else thought about you know the different areas of their life and just kind of reevaluating and maybe you're not even middle age yet you know maybe you're still in your 20s or your teenager or you know maybe you're I'm telling you, 65 plus group is representing over here on this channel. So welcome. Thank you so much for your support. But I am very much interested to hear what everybody has to say, because I guess, you know, conducting a reassessment can happen at any point in your life. So care to share, share below, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.